Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to download and install the latest version of Eclipse. So to download the Eclipse, you just need to type Eclipse ID on your browser. Uh, in the first link, just click and you will find the different versions of Eclipse ID. For now, I am going to install Eclipse ID for Java AE developers. As per you need, you can also download Eclipse ID for Java developers or C++ developers. So I'll be choosing for Java AE developers and as my system is 64-bit version, I'll click on this link. This will give you a download button. Just simply click this download button and your installation will get started. But I will not download now because I have already downloaded just to save time. So let me go to the downloaded folder. Yeah, this is the tar file which you will be downloading from the Eclipse site. You just need to extract this. I'll be extracting here. After extracting, you just need to go inside the Eclipse installer folder and you need to run this Eclipse installer. Okay. If you get this error, you just need to do one thing. If you are getting this error, just go in this file eclipse inst.ini. Go into this file. You just need to mention the path of your Java. First, let me open my terminal. I'll check what is the path on my system for Java. Uh, CD user. The path on your system may be different. Please check that where you have installed JDK. I have installed in this location. Let me go to that location JDK, then bin ls yeah so you need to mention this path just copy this path and come onto this file here just before this argument vm args you need to copy this path just before this vm argument args vm args variable before that just first put minus sign then vm then in the next line copy the path paste the path and slash java till java you need to mention in the path this is a java for java inside bin folder so you need to mention the path till java jdk 10 bin and java as i have installed jdk 10 earlier so it's showing jdk 10 in your case it may be different just save this file and be remember that you need to copy this path just before this argument okay then save this file close it now we will try to run the eclipse installer now as you can see uh, it has started now it will allow us to install the eclipse on our system so here you will find different versions or different ids you want to download or install i'll simply go for java e developers so uh, uh, this is the part where my eclipse will get installed if you don't have a good reason to change it keep it same then click install it will take uh, some time to inst get st installed here you need to uh, check this checkbox remember accept licenses and then X click the accept button similarly uh, the steps which i am showing you can also uh, do it for other eclipse id that are like uh, java developers for c++ developers you can proceed in the same way uh, it depends uh, on your internet speed and also on the mirror from where you are downloading now as you can see uh, the install has been completed now we can click on the launch button now your eclipse oxygen is opening yeah so this is the by default path for your default workspace uh, if you want to change you can change uh, using browse or if you don't have a good reason then let it be then click simply launch it will open up the id so as you can see uh, we have successfully installed eclipse on our system we can simply click on new and create a project and we can go ahead with this so yeah Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and also comment if you have any queries or suggestions. Thank you.